The sun was out and energy was high for this battle at Duffy Bass Field. Huskies were desperate for a win after losing their last five games. And the Railbirds were trying to keep it going after only losing one of their last five. ISU got off to a solid start with a three-run homer from Daniel Pacella. But the Huskies were not far behind with a two-run bomb from Mason Kelly. The crowd was loving the action, and this led to eight runs scored by the Redbirds through three innings. Sophomore pitcher from Florida held the Huskies to four scoreless innings during his time in. Here's how he approached today's matchup. I just take it. I just try to take it one inning at a time. I mean, my outings have been sometimes short and sweet. Usually, don't go that deep in a game, but just trying to throw strikes for as long as I could for the team and keep putting zeros up on the board. That's the goal. After the four scoreless innings, it was smooth sailing for the Redbirds. They were going to win 11 to five. This was a big win for the Redbirds, but they couldn't do it without a game plan. Pitching is usually a little thin, so we wanted to get a long outing from somebody, and we knew you probably needed to win the game with the bats. Um, I thought our guys did a great job of putting up runs early, and then we got that four innings out of Zach Holcomb, which was huge, because. Obviously, that probably saved us there. With an impressive win over Northern Illinois, Redbirds look to continue their success this weekend against Southern Illinois. For TV10 News, I'm Corey McIntyre.